So if you're a self-proclaimed nerd or you simply want more scientific information on how cool sculpting actually works, this is the perfect video for you to watch. So that upper left photo is showing essentially muscle wall and then fat cells within those muscle walls. 88% of people um, have one or multiple areas on their body that they've identified as having excess fat and they want to get rid of it. Sometimes diet and exercise isn't enough, sometimes genetics play a role, sometimes aging plays a role. So cool sculpting is really wonderful because it targets just the fat cells, it removes them in a non-invasive way, the results are lasting and there's really little to minimum downtime which is also something that people would really, really like. So that second image is really showing um, what's going to start happening as soon as we begin to cool the fat cells. So we're going to bring those fat cells to pre-specified temperatures simply because science knows at what temperature the fat cell is going to be damaged. It's important for me to note that fat cells have a much larger intolerance to cold than other cells. So that means we can bring everything to a certain temperature, the fat cell is going to be negatively damaged, but no other cells will be negatively impacted. You can certainly see that in the top right photo. Um, that fat cell has really started to change shape and texture, but nothing else has really begun to shift which is wonderful. That bottom left photo, um, you will see the blue fat cells now represent fat cells that have been cooled and are really being set up for apoptosis or just a natural cell death, where the white fat cells are ones that for whatever reason um, just didn't get cold enough to initiate that apoptosis process. So what's going to happen is those treated fat cells are going to die through that natural cell death process and they're gradually going to be removed through uh, microphages in the coming weeks and months. So it does take about two to four months to see the full reduction of fat cells, so it's nothing that you'll experience overnight, but the good news about that, um, it looks very natural and it also gives your skin the ability to attract, retract beautifully. So in that center picture on the bottom, you can now see that there are clearly fewer blue cells because that reduction and the removal of those fat cells has started to happen and the remaining fat cells are starting to compress, which of course makes the thickness of the fat layer reduce. So every time you do cool sculpting, you're going to see about a 20 to 25 percent reduction. We certainly have people who do cool sculpting once and then we have people who want a more dramatic reduction and they will do it two or three times just so that they can get rid of multiple layers of fat. Uh, the fat cells are going to be removed through the lymphatic system, urine and waste and it's equivalent to about a french fry of fat a day. So again it's not noticeable day by day for you but at the end of those four months when you come back for your photos you will be astounded at the reduction of fat that you have in the areas that were treated. And that lower right photo really shows at the end of that two to four month treatment how all those blue cells have effectively been eliminated, the remaining cells have compressed, and now there is clearly a reduction in the fat layer. The nice news is we didn't shrink the fat cell temporarily, and fat cells are very opportunistic. But because we actually got rid of them, the body's not going to remake them. And so as long as you stay diligent with whatever you know you're eating and exercise routine is, you can certainly appreciate the result for a lifetime. So cryolite polyps is really the mechanism or the science that we're using with cool sculpting. Something that I love is that cool sculpting is the only device that can actually use cooling in order to kill fat cells uh, because there's a patent on it. So if there's other technologies out there that say they can do that or have claims to it, it's absolutely not true. So we are going to get those fat cells to apoptosis through a controlled and gradual cooling process. The fat cell membrane is going to stay intact and then the treated fat cells are going to die and subsequently they're going to be engulfed and digested by macrophages and the cell parts are then removed from the body. I love these next few slides because they really give us a stunning visual representation of what happens to the fat cells. So on the left hand side um, you have several fat cells and their membranes. We're at a baseline temperature of 30 degrees Celsius where of course they're not going to be harmed, it's completely normal. And that's why on the right hand side when we're just looking at it you know, through a different lens, we're saying hey we're not seeing anything happening but that's to be expected because we're at a 30 degrees Celsius temperature. So pay attention to the right side of your screen and you're going to see what starts to happen to those fat cells as we apply the cooling. So this is at 10 degrees Celsius, so you can't see much change. We see a few little crystallization things happening um, that's just representative of kind of those shiny dots that are scattered throughout the screen. Clearly at 3 degrees Celsius, we're starting to see more of that crystallization happening. 
at zero degrees, I think this is really where you can start to see, wow, something is happening within these cells. At negative three degrees, you can not only see that more cells are being negatively impacted by the cold and starting to crystallize, but also within each cell, there seems to be more crystallization happening. This is at negative six degrees, and this is at negative nine degrees, which is where we cool the fat cells to in order to set up apoptosis and get them to die, flush out of the body, and leave you with undeniable results. So this image is really important. On the left-hand side, this was the thickness of the fat layer, so just over two centimeters before cool sculpting, and 90 days later is represented on the right side. So now that fat layer is only about 1.41 centimeters, so clearly there was a reduction. Even though these images were taken at 90 days apart, we do know based on having done about 16,000 treatments in Spotify that it takes two to four months for all those fat cells to effectively flush out. Let's look at one more image and then we'll wrap it up. This is just another visual representation of the reduction in the fat layer 90 days after a cool sculpting treatment. We love cool sculpting. We've done over 16,000 treatments. It's just get Spotify. It works absolutely beautifully on those stubborn pockets of fat that you just can't get rid of through diet and exercise efforts. We'd love to have you in and freeze your fat.